folks, I'm back after my fiasco at the end of my last periscope where I apparently was standing right next to a big, well actually not a big bed, that's why I didn't see it, but a kind of hidden bed of fire ants that got all over my dang foot and bit the heck out of me, but oh well. Hey there! <laughs> So that was interesting. Now, no fire ants right now, and I double checked to make sure there's no none anywhere where I'm standing at the moment. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous sunset right in the break in the storms. How lucky was I to get to see this? Like, really, this is beautiful. You zoom in on it for a second. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Feel free to take screenshots, folks. so beautiful we're getting a break in the storms right now over here it's still cloudy and stormy looking over that direction <laughs> oh that's sweet thank you yeah yeah I don't I, they love me but I sure as heck don't love them my foot is on fire right now ah my finger is itching anyway um, <laughs> that was random, but yeah, um, I just had to share this absolutely stunning sunset during the break in the storm. So beautiful. It's storming over here. It's storming over way yonder, that way towards Fort Worth. That's towards Fort Worth with those big thunder clouds. Hey, I think that's what they're called. I don't know what kind of clouds they are, but anyway, you get my drift. <laughs> storm clouds. But, um, but right here it's sunny and pretty and there's some blue in the sky even, but it probably won't be around long because we've got more heading our way. So yeah, this, this way is heading our direction. So I'm enjoying it while I can. <laughs> this is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous sky right now. I'm just loving it. It's so beautiful. I got some great pictures. I'm going to tweet after I'm done on Periscope. Oh, man. Is the signal bad? I mean, the connection? Thinking the connection's not too good right now. Because people aren't sticking around but for a second and having to come back and some are just flat out leaving. So I'm thinking the connection's not great at the moment, which is unfortunate considering how beautiful this is. Oh, it's okay? Oh, okay. But, um, that's just so pretty. I love it. One thing that is good about Periscope, though, because, like, earlier I was trying to watch my friend Gary from Blackpool, England's, um, live scope. And speaking of, there's Gary right now. Yeah, I was trying to watch his earlier live, and, it, and I couldn't get a connection, but the good thing is, is you can still go watch the replay. So, even if the connection's bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> no worries. You're back. Hey, Gary. Yeah, when you watch the replay of my previous Periscope, oh my gosh, it's kind of funny at the end. I totally was standing, and I didn't even know it till obviously I felt it, right next to the bed of fire ants. So, my foot got bit all over my fire ants. Yeah, it was not good. <laughs> but no fire ants where I'm standing now, so I'm good. I'm just going to have to put some stuff on for what I did get earlier. It was not fun. Feel free to take screenshots, of course. Isn't this so beautiful? I just love it. I got some great photos I'm going to post whenever I'm done on here. I'll be posting. So, yeah. Just so beautiful. We have, you know, we've been having storms today, Gary. Isn't it beautiful? Um, so this is a break in the storms. Over this way is heading our way. So it's still, but we've still got more rain and stuff coming. But for right now, right where I'm at, luckily that I got to see this beautiful sunset because there's a break in the storms at the moment. So it's pretty awesome. I lucked out. And over that way is Fort Worth, and that's where they've been having tornadoes, apparently, there in the surrounding counties, like Wise County and stuff has been having tornado warnings. So, yeah. 
no tornado warnings here although we are still under a tornado watch here until eight o'clock tonight so there you go <clears throat> but sorry i'll try to hold the camera a little more steady oh, it's so beautiful i just love it oh and it feels wonderful outside right now it's only about 68 degrees i think yeah tornadoes I live in Tornado Alley, Gary, <laughs> and they were asking earlier on my previous Periscope if I have a storm cellar. No, nope, I don't. I have a closet. That's what I get in. It's either the closet or the shower. It's the two safest places in my house. And the last time we had tornadic activity right here, and we're under a tornado warning, we had hail beating on the side of the house and everything, I was hiding in my closet. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I even finagled the cats in there with me. Yep, I was crouched in my closet on my phone chatting with people that were going through the same thing <laughs> in my area. That was fun. I didn't have Periscope at the time. This was like seven months ago or so. Um, I hadn't discovered Periscope yet. But next disaster, I'll have Periscope to keep me company while I'm in the closet. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Anywho. Yeah. <laughs> periscope. That might be a first on Periscope. I wonder if anybody's done that. Had to Periscope from their closet while they're hiding. <laughs> That's funny. So y'all don't get many of those there where you live, huh? If any. Oh, you don't have tornadoes there at all. I guess the atmosphere isn't right for it, huh? I've had many, many instances growing up because I, you know, I've grew up, grown up in Texas. So, um, actually grew up in Glen Rose, Texas, which is like the Summer Mill County, which is the smallest county in Texas, actually, I believe, or one of the smallest. Um, and we got so much tornadic activity when I was growing up, you know, it was a random occurrence, you know, at, the, at that point, just hiding in your closet with your pets and stuff. That was like... No biggie, because you just did it all the time, you know? And we didn't have a storm cellar where I grew up either. So, yeah, if the closet or the bathtub or shower, whichever you have, is the safest, you know? Whatever's the most interior little space in your house. Yeah. Well, today in Fort Worth, which is, you know, way off that way, um, but they had, I was just before I started scoping a bit ago, I had just finished watching a news video um, from Channel 8 from Fort Worth that was shot today. Somebody wasn't far from where a touchdown happened and you could see a roof getting torn off of the building. That was pretty crazy. I'll try to tweet it here in a bit so y'all can see it, whoever's on my Twitter. My Twitter, if whoever's watching that isn't already on my Twitter and would like to follow me on Twitter, um, it's the same as my name on here. So. But yeah, I'll try to tweet that here in a bit. I'm not going to stick with this too much longer. Um, but seriously, my foot is like on fire. They're called fire ants for a reason. And I've got to go put some medicine on these bites because it doesn't feel good at all. It's very uncomfortable. I mean, there was like probably at least 10, 15 fire ants when I looked down on my last periscope and noticed it. I felt something. I looked down and sure enough, my foot was covered in the suckers. I freaked out for a second there. <laughs> Just a little bit. But, yeah. Okay, folks. I'm going to stop now and go doctor my foot. <laughs> I shall see y'all later. Bye. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Hope you have a great rest of your day or evening, wherever you may be. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs>